Hey guys, so today um, I have a haul video for you guys. I went to Ulta and Target. I only got a few things at Target, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started into it because I've already filmed this once. Um, the first thing is I needed um, another powder, so I got my Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, I love this stuff. It just works really well and it's cheap, so I got that at Target. I also got, um, I needed a new mist for my face or a setting spray, and I didn't want to pay a lot of money, so I got the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I've had this before, but, like, it smelled really funny to me. To be honest, it smelled like popcorn, which was really weird, but it did. Um, but it smells a little bit better, but it's still kind of weird. But, I mean, it works. I mean, it's only $6, and, I mean, you get what you pay for. It's not the best. I still love MAC um, Fix Plus, but that's okay. This works fine, so I picked that up. And then I got, I went to Ulta and I needed a new foundation because I was running out of the one that I'm currently using and <coughs> even if I've had a foundation before, um, or even if I have tons of other foundations after one runs out, I feel like I always need to go and grab another one. So I went and got the Rimmel Match Perfecting, or Match Perfection Light Perfecting Radiant Sunscreen Foundation. Um, I thought this was the same one that everybody had used in their... Um, $20 makeup challenge like a lot of people had used and I don't think it is like okay it I mean it looks the same to me um, but it was a little bit more expensive than what people were paying I think and everybody else had like a little spatula thing to get it out and this one doesn't maybe they just changed the packaging um, I'm not really sure but um, I really like it though it's really good I mean it has pretty good coverage um, it's very dewy um, very dewy so you definitely need a powder if you have oily skin or during the summer to kind of set it but um, and right now I have very dry skin but right now it's too um, dewy for me so but in the winter it's gonna be perfect so I actually really like that and it's only like six dollars and then I got a um, nail polish I was trying to or I was gonna recreate um, a nail look that I had a couple of months ago and um, I knew which polish I had um, but I remembered that when I was doing it the polish that I used one of the polishes that I used was very thick and it was I was having a really hard time getting it on so I went ahead and tried to pick up one that was just like it and I found this one this one's called is by Essie and it's called no baggage please and it's a gorgeous pink um, I like to think of this pink as kind of like a princess pink the only difference between this Essie one and the one that I used before though the one that I used before is L'Oreal the difference is is that the L'Oreal one was completely um, had no shimmers or anything this one actually has like these really pretty like silver and like pink it seems like glitter so it's really pretty though but I like this a lot um a Maybelline great lash clear mascara um just because I needed a clear mascara or gel or something to set my brows because um I have gone with that one for actually a couple months and oh my gosh your brows just look like a mess um without that and then speaking of brows, um, I actually um, needed a new brow pencil too. Um, I was using the Maybelline Define a Brow and it's it works really good. Like I really like it, but the problem is that I find is um, it's like seven dollars and I seven or eight dollars and it didn't even last me like a month. So to me, not really worth the money. No, you know maybe it did last me a month. Um, yeah, maybe it lasted me a little over a month, but I just don't. I don't know. I feel like I didn't barely use it, so maybe it didn't. Um, all I know is that I don't think it's worth the money as far as how long it lasts. So I wanted to try a new one and so I got this Prestige Brow Perfection and I've never heard anybody use this or seen anybody use it. The first thing that I got was the NYX High Definition Photogenic Concealer and this is also um, talc free and paraben free which is good and this one is in the color... CW02 Fair, which is very light. It Well, it looks very light. Actually, on the skin, it shows up a little bit um, darker than it does, than it looks in the tube. And they also, this isn't even the lightest one. This is um, the second to lightest one. I think the other one is CW01. Okay, next thing is I wanted to do a specific purple look on my eyes, and I tried it out today. Um, I don't really love it, so I'm going to try differently another day, but I wanted a purple base because I didn't really have one. So I got the um, NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Purple Velvet. It's just a very purple um, color. It's dark purple. I wish they had a lighter purple. Maybe they do. I just don't know. But that's what it looks like. So I got that. And then I got um, this NYX Roll On Eye Shimmer. And this is... I've seen a lot of people use this in tutorials. 
and heard a lot of good things about this and this looks amazing like I swear any look that I see someone doing this I'm like well what is it on their eyes it looks so gorgeous so I got it in platinum and um, I'm pretty sure they have tons more there they do have tons more of these and I'm pretty sure those are just as good but oh my gosh it's just so pretty it's like glitter in a bottle it's not even shimmer it's like shimmer mixed with glitter and it just looks really pretty and I cannot wait to and I cannot wait to pat, um, match this with an eye look and oh my gosh it's just gonna make it look ten times more fun so I'm gonna do a tutorial with this definitely and then I wanted a new or I needed a new black liner and um, I like the I've liked the one that I've been using I use the Maybelline Maybelline uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it works really well. I'll put it in the down bar, but I wanted to try this one from NYX, and um, I've heard a lot of good things about it, and this is the um, NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and Definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner, and it's in jet black. Um, this is supposed to be like Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils, which I love, so I got this one in black, um, you know, just try the black first and then if I really like it I'll go back and get more colors. It's pretty black, it's very creamy and it will stay on, it's not going to um, smudge or move once you put it on so I really really like this. Um, so I do plan on going back and getting more colors as well as repurchasing the black. So the rest is lip products, um, I love my lip products, I can't help it, I'm a lip junkie. Um, if there's one thing I have enough of definitely it's lip products but I can't help it. So, I got some lip pencils, and I got, um, this color, well, hold on, so I got some more lip pencils because I've actually been wanting to kind of, you know, put lip, lip, use lip liners a lot more because I feel like I just put lipstick on and I'm having to reapply it, like, every so often, so I wanted to get some lip pencils so that, um, maybe it would help la make everything last longer as well as kind of bring out the color more so I went ahead and I got some and I got um the first one I got is in peekaboo not neutral and it's a very neutral color um I chose this one over the color natural because I thought this was I was going to like this better because it was more of a pinky tone it's right here turns out I don't really like it um I mean, this would be great for someone that likes this kind of color. I'm not saying the lip, lip pencil itself is bad because, honestly, they have, like, the best lip pencils, in my opinion. Um, I mean, I love them. For the price, they're really good. Um, and since I'm not really big on lip pencils, I don't buy higher-end lip pencils that often. So, this one's, these are really good, but I actually wish I would have gotten the natural because I like this one because it was more pinky tone, but it's actually really kind of dark. And, um... I was trying to wear that with nude lipsticks and I don't think it's going to work because it's just a little too dark. But um, it is a pretty shade. Um, the next one that I got was a very bright pink. I love bright hot pinks on me. I think they look really good with my skin tone. So I got this one. Um, especially for summer. I wanted some more bright pinks and stuff for summer. By the way, it's raining outside so I'm sure you can hear that. This one is in pinky. And... It is this bottom one. Like I said, just the bright pink. It's really pretty. It's hot, hot pink, and it's it's really gorgeous. And then the last one that I got is in Dolly Pink. I actually saw someone using this such a long time ago, and I thought it was gorgeous. And I had not been able to find it since. Like, every single time I go to this, go anywhere, it's always sold out. So I went ahead and I finally got it. It's this most gorgeous pink color. It is actually, like, <laughs> pretty much St. Germain in a lip liner forms so this will look great under St. Germain or like snob or anything like that oh my gosh such a pretty color so then the rest are lipsticks um they're all the same lipsticks I wanted to ask you guys a question um because they're the lip smacking fun colors they're all the that um lip smacking fun colors but this one is a different packaging than all of them the rest of them look like this one um I'm thinking this is the old packaging but I'm not sure so could you tell me what is going on here? I mean, I'm pretty sure they're just, this is the old packaging, because I think this is how my other ones look, but I don't know. At first I thought they were different lipsticks, like it was a different lip formula or lipstick in total, in, or in all, but it's not. So anyway, so the first one I got, which is actually what I'm wearing, is in Summer Love. It is this gorgeous new color. I wanted, I was going in there actually, 
into Ulta looking for more lipsticks because I wanted some more I wanted I'm always on a hunt for good nude I'm also um, I wanted some more summery coral bright color so um, they have a lot of good ones but I got this color I actually wanted this color summer love because um, my mom and me and my boyfriend went into Ulta a couple weeks ago and she asked me she's like I really want a really pretty nude color and she was in the NYX section I said okay so we were going through all the lipsticks and I found this one and I'm in love I love it it's what I'm wearing on my lips so if you can kind of tell it's amazing the next one that I got was um what, oh my gosh I fell in love with this a gorgeous bright shade um and this is gonna look red in camera but I promise you it's not red um it's in the color fire and it's just a very it's a red toned hot pink it's not red it's hot pink, but it's very red toned. It's gorgeous for summer. So the next one I got was another new color, and this one is called Circle. This one is very similar to the other one, um, Summer Love, but Summer Love is a little, a little lighter. This one's also, it's not matte, but it, um, I don't know, but they're different, obviously. This one's a little bit more pinky. This is more brown toned. So... I got this one in circle, and then I got this one, which um, is another kind of neutral nude color, but it's so pretty. It reminds me of Snob and Angel lipstick from MAC. I'm going to do some dupes. Like, I swear I'm going to do a dupe video of lipsticks, and it's going to be MAC versus NYX, and I'm going to show you guys that you don't have to spend tons of money. By the way, this is what it looks like. It's a gorgeous, I mean, I swear, it's like Snob and MAC in one. Um, gorgeous. I'm going to do like a, a dupe video of lipstick, MAC lipsticks, and I'm going to show you, actually I'm thinking of a couple brands that have the exact same shades as MAC. You don't need to go buy a MAC lipstick. I love MAC lipsticks. I'm not saying, you know, they're bad or anything, but I mean, they're more expensive. And if you can't afford it, you don't have to go get it. Like, a, like you don't have to feel it, or you don't need to feel like you have to go get it because everybody else is using them. Like, I swear, NYX lipsticks. Um, are really good and actually I feel like if there's one item out of all of makeup all the makeup items that every single brand including high-end and drugstore have down pat it is lipsticks lipsticks are there's tons of great lipsticks out there Um, the, the last lipstick that I got um, is this another fun and bright color and this is in the color Louisiana it's this gorgeous hot pink that is everything finally um i hope you guys enjoyed this video um uh if you guys want to see more videos like this then just comment down below um and also thumbs up this video and if you guys have any requests or if you guys want to see um a tutorial or a review on anything that i put in here um or anything that I showed you guys, just let me know. You can either comment down below or message me, and I will definitely do it. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you like my videos or if you like this video, then go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.